with eight rounds scheduled, and it is a international heavyweight contest. Brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensberry Promotions, along with their great sponsors. 32 Red, Foot Asylum, and Reno Steel. Our referee in charge and scoring this contest will be Steve Gray. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner, he's wearing black with gray and weighed in at 14 stone, nine pounds. A native of France, he is now making his home in Barcelona, Spain, and has a professional record consisting of four wins, just one defeat, with all four wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Morgan DeSalle. And his opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing black with white and weighed in at 18 stone, one pound. Hailing from Nantwich, he is undefeated with 11 wins. Nine of his 11 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former undefeated Central Area heavyweight champion, Nathan Gorman. Okay, boys, I'm a cold break, one step back. Don't punch to the back of the head. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck, lads. Nathan Gorman, undefeated fighter from Cheshire. Massively the bigger man. Slightly shorter, but weighing over 18 stones. Morgan de Salle, 14 one. stone nine. And all the talk is about Gorman potentially fighting Daniel Dubois somewhere in the future and it looks as though this could go quickly. To Sao, early signs that he was struggling to keep his man away. Well, Rock Ormond has good variety in his work. He might, he might not have the same one-punch power as maybe a Dubois right now, but his variety in his work is very good. He's quite athletic. He doesn't really box like a heavyweight, he boxes more like a like a lightweight, like a middleweight. He's fast hands, fast feet. And do so here with a little bit of a loose guard, which uh, I think that right hand of, of Gorman might exploit him at any time now. He'd rather hang his chin out, didn't he? Yeah. Right decent hand. right hand though from Dassau. Gorman just trying to walk him down. Works with Ricky Hatton, of course. He was there in the corner. He was, he was being introduced. And he's the one who'll be giving the advice between rounds. Nine knockout wins in his 11 victories so far. Tassau only turned pro at the age of 32 and almost stumbled down there. And he's under attack and not throwing too much of consequence back. To try and get those, those straight punches in the south just to keep Gorman away. Good body shot there from Gorman a second ago. Just trying to dig the shots in, Gorman. Just, if you relax a little bit more, just let those combinations flow. I think that's where his strength is at. Only had 11 amateur bouts, Nathan Gorman said he couldn't get them because as a kid he was so big apparently he weighed 16 and a half stones when he was just 14 years old <laughs> he'd be a teacher eh? good job he's a good-natured lad small uh, little attack there from the show but it's all just tit the tat stuff and Gordon's happy to block it and give a smile and he'll be shooting back to the ribs but that's better from Gordon we'll get behind that jab a little slip to the side and come back to that left too. caught him there and he's gone left hand putting him out down for the first time and he can't cope with the power of Nathan Gorman quite clearly referee Stephen Gray having a very close look at him the clock ticking down 20 seconds to somehow try and survive caught him with a right uppercut and another left hand and he's bullying him around the ring it could end right here and now 
He's trying to cover up, trying to survive. He may just see it through to the bell to end this opening round. Referee having a very close look, and he allows it to continue, and he allows it. He allows him to go back to his corner. A little assault there, wasn't it, from Gorman? It all started with the knockdown, with a sharp little left hook. The yep. speed of the shot it Instead was. Instead of going down the middle, go down the middle with a, with a jab. And... Let's watch again how it came. There's the left hand. It was the first left hook that done all the damage for me. It was a big shed there, that. The real fast left hook. Didn't see it. Then he was just covering up then. It just, just, just tumbled to the floor then after that. So that, that was the shot. Didn't know where he was, couldn't see it. Let's listen in to the corner and hear from Ricky Hatton with his fighter. Like a fish out of water. Yeah, absolutely brilliant, mate. Showing your boxing, you're showing your boxing, you're showing your ability, and you're showing you can mix up and get nasty, and nasty when you're in close. Same again. Second down, round two. He's come out swinging again, Morgan de Salle. Oh, oh caught by another left hand from Gorman. You've got to give de Salle his credit, he's having a little pop, isn't he? Well, he's giving it a go, but he's going to go again, surely. Little Gorman leaning onto him, heavy-handed. He says that Ricky Hatton's a perfectionist. Well, he said that he was delighted with what he'd done so far. And he's looking to end this fight for me right here, right now, here in this second round. Referee looking very closely. He wants to see something coming back, and nothing too much is. Bravely tries to swing De Salle. With a decent left hook there, De Salle, to be fair, but I don't think there's much weight, much purchase behind the punches from De Salle. Oh, oh caught hook. again by a left hook. Referee looking to step in there, wasn't he? There are plenty of people who will scream mismatch, and he stopped it. Plenty of people will scream mismatch, mismatch, but it really is difficult to find fighters for these young pros, heavy-handed young people like Nathan Gorman, just 21 years old, like Daniel Dubois, a year younger. <laughs> to be fair, to show he had a little bit of a pop, he just had the strength. Good performance, and we'll hear the official confirmation in just a moment or two. Well, it was a fairly easy victory for Nathan Gorman, didn't really have to take anything, and when the end came, the referee did absolutely the right thing. Yeah, he did, he wasn't fighting back. I think in the first round, he fired back enough just to, to see him to the final bell, to, to the bell, the end of the round, but that was uh, the last second when he came out. He had a little pop and took that sharp left hook again, and then the onslaught there was just too much for him. And I think, no, he could have gone down and all the rest of it. We would have seen a more con conclusive finish. But I think Steve Gray did the right thing, call it off. Listen, it is what it is. They're building these fighters up. It was always going to be an easy fight, relatively easy fight for Gorman. But listen, he gets out, he gets another win, and he's, built, he's still a 21-year-old young man for this, this weight division. And it's all about learning your trade and doing what you do in the gym, transferring that to the, to the fight night, which I think he's doing. Didn't really prove a lot except that Nathan Gorman can hit very hard. Two fighters are in the middle now, and here's Thomas once more with the microphone to tell us exactly when the end came. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, eight seconds of round number two. Our referee in charge, Steve Gray, stops the contest as the red corner was in no condition to continue. Therefore, your winner and still undefeated, Nathan Gorman. So win number 12, and that is 10 by stoppage. What's it proved to you, Richie? Well, I think, uh, you know, he's coming along nice. He's obviously with, with Ricky Hatton, he's in a good camp. But I know a lot about Nathan Gorman. I remember him up at GB, took him on the pads many times. He's very deceiving, actually. He, you know, he's a fairly big unit. Um, he looks, sometimes he looks a little bit out of shape, but he's got good skills. He's got very good, decent power. And there, just showed you a little bit of skill there because his opponent fell short with the right hand. And it was that first left hook. I love